Hi, welcome back to the Kids First channel. I'm Ryan, reporting for Kids First. Today I'll be reviewing the new movie, Finding Dory, which if you didn't know, is the sequel to Finding Nemo. In this film, after they found Nemo, like one year later, Dory now lives with Marlon and Nemo. Dory, voiced by Ellen DeGeneres, suffers from short-term memory loss, which means she forgets it pretty much pretty easily. Dory all of a sudden starts remembering stuff about her parents. She goes on an adventure with Marlon and Nemo to find them. Now the question is, will she be able to find them or will she forget and lose them? I love the film for its comedy and animations. I love the humor because it was a very funny and I almost fell out of my seat once because of the jokes. I also liked how it was also fight for adults so it wasn't just for kids. I love the animations because they're vivid. I liked how the ocean looked very realistic and it looked family friendly. One thing I didn't like about this film was it was it took very long for the sequel. But besides that, this film was fantastic. My favorite character is Hank. Hank is an octopus who can camouflage into anything. He helps Dory by guiding her all around the aquarium where they're at. I love Hank's character, Hank, which is voiced by Ed O'Neill, because I would love to have the power to camouflage into anything. In this film, I noticed that the characters you see in this film have some type of disability, and you see how they overcome it. And this is a very important message that's shown in this film. I give this film 5 out of 5 amazing stars. I recommend this to kids ages 4 to 18, and I think adults might like this as well. I also recommend this to people like action, adventure, children, comedy movies, and family movies. Make sure to see Finding Dory, which is coming out Friday, June 17th. I'm Ryan, reporting for Kids First. Bye, see you next time, and don't forget to subscribe to the Kids First channel.